The equilibrium constant is a mathematical tool which can be used to determine the extent to which a reaction lies either on the side of the reactants or on the side of the products. In a reaction such as A and B in equilibrium with C and D, the equilibrium constant is the ratio of the concentration of the two products with the concentration of the two reactants. Now the equilibrium constant is an extremely powerful tool as it gives us an insight into what's going on down at a molecular level. For example, if you have a high equilibrium constant, that means that it lies largely on the side of the products. On the other hand, if you have a low equilibrium constant, this means that the reaction lies mostly on the side of the reactants. The value of an equilibrium constant for a particular reaction will always stay the same. The only thing that changes the value of the equilibrium constant is the temperature of the system. For an endothermic reaction, when we increase the temperature in an exothermic reaction, we will be decreasing the value of the equilibrium constant. On the other hand, when we increase the temperature for an endothermic reaction, we'll be increasing the value of the equilibrium constant. It's really important in the HSC syllabus that you can use the equilibrium constant to calculate the extent to which the products dominate over the reactants. Thanks so much for watching this chemistry video. Make sure to stay tuned for plenty more.